Hi guys, welcome back to Geeky Stuff. This is the Xiaomi Mi A2 review. At the moment, it's only £210, and that is an absolute steal when you compare the specifications and the review I'm about to reveal. So what do you get on the Mi A2? To start, you get a beautiful design, which is only, for a smartphone, 5mm thick, 0.5cm. Very, very thin. Beautiful metal back, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. So really tough screen to prevent scratches. The camera does butt out um, quite a bit. So you do have to be careful, especially if you're knocking it against something, you don't want to catch uh, that camera, but it does come with a silicon case as well in the back. Um, but the be it's beautiful on the back, a great smooth finish. The matte black is a beautiful design, thin metal body, 2.5D, Corning Gorilla Glass 5. 20 and 12 megapixel rear camera, locker effect, portrait mode, front facing camera is 20 megapixel as well. Screen brightness is um, average. It looks worse on the camera than in real life. It's very hard to um, replicate the exact brightness. That's on full brightness and you can see the display. You put it right down and you can barely uh, see it at all. But on in most conditions, the screen brightness is, is good. I have to have download a dimmer app in the evenings because it's too bright in the evenings. And this does have LED notification, but only for what it seems to be uh, messages and uh, when you're charging, there's only one color as well, a white little blinking color. There's no options to change any of the LED notification settings. Fingerprint sensor, like I said in the unboxing video, is absolutely rapid. I mean, it's running a Snapdragon 660. Adreno 512 GPU as well. It's very, very fast. The Mi A2 has been a great performer. It's running Android 8.1. This is the four gigabyte version. See the true specs in there. Four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. Although it only says 45, but some is used up by the OS. So here are obviously some of the, the real specifications. Xiaomi are not gonna hide anything anyway. Snapdragon 660, Adreno 512 as well. 2160 by 1080p. No performance issues with this smartphone at all. Very quick and snappy, which you come to expect with the Qualcomm chips. Apps open up rather quick. Obviously network and internet, internet dependent as well. Some apps do require internet. Very happy. Show you GPS if you wish. No fix at the moment. Uh, we're indoors anyway at the moment. 3D fix, accuracy 14 foot, accuracy 11 foot. So I get exactly the same as outdoors as well. I was getting around 11 foot outdoors. So being indoors does not hamper the GPS signal at all. And um, navigation using Google Maps was Absolutely fine, so no issues with the GPS, which you wouldn't expect anyway, really. Okay, let's have a look at the Xiaomi Mi A2 battery. So today's usage, I've got 48% left. Screen usage since full charge, two hours and a half screen on time with 48% left. Now, by looking at this, this probably is gonna be one of my better days uh, since using the the Xiaomi Mi A2 in terms of battery performance. It's a 3,010 milliamp battery. And I can tell you this, battery life is disappointing, which I was really, I was quite gutted about really. Uh, everything on this phone is spot on, apart from the battery. 5% left, this was at 2.37 in the afternoon, three hours and 20 minutes of screen on time. Here's the apps I was using, mainly WhatsApp, this uh, little camera security app, because I'm testing out a security camera at the moment, that's the application you get with it. Maps, Facebook, phone, Instagram, Play Store, Outlook, just average, average sort of usage. This, I've got slightly a bit more, three hours and 27 minutes, 3% left, this is at 1.48 p.m. Again, applications look very, very similar to the other day. Average sort of user, really. But going on what I see here, two hours, 34 minutes at the moment, screen on time. It's estimating there's around about three hours, 15 minutes left on battery. 
So possibly could probably get four four hours screen on time ish, but still not good enough battery for me for what I for what I feel comfortable with. I like to use a phone all day long, as you know, and put it on charge in the evening. Wake up with it fully charged. So that is a disappointment for me for the Mi A2. Right, I'm going to test mobile data speed test for you now, guys. I'm on the E network. There is a 4G signal there. Seems about half strength. So not too bad for saying it's got um, half signal on 4G. Six down and four up. Okay, so a little bit of gaming on the Xiaomi Mi A2. Testing the Adreno 512 GPU and obviously the the Snapdragon 660 performance. Oh, if we don't score now, there's something wrong. Go on, you're open, go. Let's bury it. Yeah. Get in. Gonna try some PUBG using the uh, the GameSir controller, the GameSir F2, with the triggers. Here's a thin smartphone. Just fit in there okay. But even in here you can tell uh, it is smooth. Smooth gameplay. Okay, I've landed. Straight into here. Nothing. Where is it all? Aha. Oh, shotgun ain't much better either. Let's get a bit too close to my enemies. Oh, there's someone there. What do I shoot him with? The pistol or the shotgun? He's got a bloody machine gun on here, I bet. Booyah! Getting better at this. Oh, he's still alive. Hopefully he's got some... Decent stuff in there. Who's that? Just heard someone. I'm under fire. Oh, there he is. What else have they got? Nice surgery cap. Ah, I don't know if you see me or not. No, he's not seen me yet. Quick, quick. That's two. I knocked him. Crap. Crap, where's he gone? Got no bloody guns. Oh, 
Where's he gone? Sweet. I'm nearly dead. Come on then. Crap. Who's that? Oh, sweet. Six kills, I think this is the best I've ever done. I can hear someone. Yep, who's that? Seven kills. Oh. Oh. Bloody hell. I'll get in. Just heard someone else. <laughs> he walked straight into me. Ah. Shit. Oh, got him. Get in. Fourteen kills. Five people left. Is that? Ah, bugger. I was killed. But I got fourth spot. That was the best I've ever done. Team ranking four. Killed 14. Okay, so that, you've seen extensive gameplay on the Xiaomi Mi A2 with uh, PUBG. And throughout, the gameplay was absolutely spot on and smooth. So overall, that was around about half an hour of gaming. And it's quite hot. I've definitely felt hotter, but you, it's still, you can still hold the phone without no issues. So the camera on the Mi A2. Let's get into this. Lovely picture there of my pumpkin, which should be orange. I don't know why it's green. Um, but you can see here, um, took a couple of shots on there. One with the portrait effect, which pointless really because it's all pretty much there in the foreground. Camera on this is excellent. 20 megapixel front facing camera. 20 and 12 megapixel rear facing camera. The portrait mode is spot on, really, really is. And the effect does work really, really well. I'd say that low light in video is not as good as low light in pictures. Uh, I think picture mode, especially front facing camera in the evenings, the picture mode um, does quite well in um, low light conditions. I think the screen is quite bright as well for that, so it lights up your face. 
for £210, well at the moment it's £210 because it's in the sale, uh, so it's roughly probably about £240, £240. The camera on this is spot on, it's really, really good. I'm going to show you some photos now and some videos. It does have um, image stabilisation on the video, so um, it's quite smooth, it's not bad, but I think you'll agree that the portrait pictures are excellent. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I think that's the wrong arm. Is it? Uh, yeah. Front facing camera on the Xiaomi Mi A2. Curtains are closed, so this is sort of low light. And there is a little bit of graininess in there, but it's not too bad. Definitely, definitely seen worse. So as we come over here and open the curtains, a little bit of natural light in, then it looks hell of a lot better. The Mi A2 does have a, a good camera, front facing camera on this smartphone and the pictures are very good as well, especially the uh, the portrait mode. Don't know who that is. So the image stabilisation is on. Let's have a look at the pumpkin. There she is. Cool. I don't know, I was going to drop for the fire engine. Wow. Can I see? You can in a minute, yeah. I'm just recording this because there's low light and there's a little bit of noise and distortion on this uh, on this video, but not that you're bothered, Cobby, a little three-year-old. No. Now we have the curtains open. No noise, or little, very little noise, and looks a lot clearer. Go on, do your stuff. Now I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. Go! Go! Wow, that's amazing. Isn't it, Aria? Ba! Ba! <laughs> so the IPS panel, 2160 by 1080p. On YouTube, the pinch zoom function works. This is at 1080p, 60 frames per second as well. And playback is smooth and excellent image quality. The display is really, really nice. Beautiful. I mean, I covered the some of the audio in the unboxing video and Audio quality is quite impressive. Very loud speaker. A very loud loudspeaker, sorry. Let's whack it up. Yeah, it's got a cracking little loudspeaker on the Mi A2. So this is it, guys. This has been my full review of the Xiaomi Mi A2. I would definitely recommend this smartphone. Design, beautiful design. It's slim, it's not chunky or bulky. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of the, uh, the, the chunky camera there. So just imagine if they did have to fill out to the camera thickness, the thickness of the phone would be that. So. To make it thinner, they've had to allow for the little bump in the camera. It does come with a case if you want to sit it in a case. And it makes it look ugly though for me. And the case does go around the top of the, uh, the camera there. Obviously it doesn't cover the lens. But it does support it when you're laying it on the table. So you can rest assured you won't scratch it. 
That's if you want to have a case anyway. I don't really like using them. Performance, as you see in the uh, the PUBG gameplay, is spot on. Really, really good. It's what you come to expect with a, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660, Adreno 512, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. No issues there at all. The only problem for me in the phone is the battery. 3,010 milliamps. I only managed to squeeze out three, three and a half hours of screen on time. Let's have a quick check now, actually, because I've just been caning PUBG for half an hour. Three hours and 18 minutes. So it looks like I might even get the four hour, the four hour mark this time around. So maybe the more uh, charging cycles you do might improve the battery. I don't know, but it certainly looks as if um, yeah, there we go. PUBG use for 33 minutes, 13%. Um, so it okay, it looks like it might be slightly better than what I revealed earlier, but still not good enough. It's not going to last a whole day. But anyway, links are in the description below, guys. If you wish to purchase them, they are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission. Um, but that's it, guys. Any questions, please comment below. I hope I've covered everything everything what a normal average person would use on a smartphone from day to day and i hope it's come across in a genuine honest manner that's it guys please comment below give the video a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you very soon Bye bye